Okay, now that we have a collider on the player, in my case, uh, this collider is sphere, and it's is a trigger. Every time the enemy enters this sphere, the uh, the uh, script close attack is going to communicate with enemies script called enemy health and it's going to take away the uh, damage whatever the damage is set in the attack script so let's test this out real quick if you pay attention to the health current health 90 now every time I move away from the enemy and I come close to the enemy again health decreases again if I move away come back health decreases move away come back health decreases now this only happens if ev this happens every time when enemy enters only when enemy enters the uh, collider the health will decrease now in this case your player will have always have to try to move around to sorry about that to move around to manage to decrease the health I mean this is just one way of attacking I mean I have different ways of attacking enemies but uh, now let's say if you wanted to decrease enemy's health while the enemy is close by how to do that well it's simple you just have to uh, go back to the close attack script I don't pay attention to this okay so under uh, close attack script the function on trigger enter we'll have to change this into on trigger stay okay so if you change this to on trigger stay this means anything that is inside the collider is a trigger and as long as it stays inside that trigger do something here now again you still have to check if the game objects tag is enemy pretty much all this stays as it is okay and what, would, what we can use here is see if you leave it like this the enemy's health if you save it if you just change this one thing inside the function your enemy's health every time they enter will decrease really really fast let's just test this out see how fast um, let's find uh, ice demon he's got more health 300 let's find of them see how watch see that went down to zero quickly so all of my enemies health is like zero right now they're all should be dead they're all dead okay how to prevent this for when the enemy is inside the collider to take the take their health only at a certain event on um, this case uh, if if input we can bring in the statement uh, if if input 
get key up key code let's say oh, f code f save it if you bring this statement before the uh, take damage damage uh, enemy um this should work every time you uh, press on the F in the release uh, enemy enemy's health will decrease I hope this is going to work I'm not sure let's see earlier I was testing something out and it did work but uh, let's see shouldn't take the enemy's damage But I have a glitch here. So if I click F, as you can see, current health is 90. If I uh, press F again and release 80 again, press or uh, click on F, 70, 60, 50, 40. Now all of my uh, enemies' health is decreasing. Should be decreasing. 230, 220. 200, 190, and so on. Um, this enemy dealt damage. Oh, this is my um, debug. My debug is moving ahead of itself. Let's copy this, delete it from this. And hmm. yeah, you can just delete the debug. But if you were to check if this this line of code works, then you'll have to bring in the de debug and this these two lines of codes you'll have to put them inside the brackets. didn't work why not uh, because I'll have to have this line of code inside here as well and just comment this out let's see if this is going to work and I have um, something went wrong here. This one is wrong. It says unexpected symbol. That one. Why is it unexpected? Let's test this out before my time runs out again. All right, find the enemy, and um, that didn't work all oh, because I pressed E instead of F. There we go. There you go. So. demon rules his health as well so this is how you can make enemy uh, how you can uh, attack multiple enemy enemies at the same time so thank you for watching if you guys have any um, videos out there so this is it um, 
I hope you guys uh, learned something from this if not uh, I'm sorry um, I was trying to be as um, informa informative as much as possible <laughs> um, if you don't understand something watch the video twice three times that's what I always do when I'm interested in, in learning something um, so uh, thank you for watching this video on how to make a player damage multiple enemies at the same time you can approach uh, you can approach this in many different ways you can uh, use this in many different ways I guess uh, like a you know um, a bomb if you throw a bomb uh, this bomb explodes and if enemy is close by they lose health uh, or a laser uh, what you call the <coughs> fence if enemy you know um, touches the laser fence they lose health or or even player for that matter so yeah there's a uh, great you know many ways you can approach on uh, using this uh, um, <coughs> function the function uh, um, on enter uh, on trigger enter and on trigger stay there's other functions like on collider enter on collider stay but I haven't I I kind of uh, like the on trigger enter on trigger stay so kind of like um, I like those functions and I'm gonna try to uh, implement them as many as possible inside this project wherever this ends up going to ends up being I really don't know what I'm doing with this I'm just pretty much learning uh, how to script all this and I'm just playing around and trying to figure out if anything is going to come up out of all this learning <coughs> so again thank you for watching and uh, if you like the videos um, I'm sure I'll post some more videos um, not right away but in a later time so keep posted you might uh, find something interesting alright that's all bye